Yo, what up everybody? Today is the first day of Chapter 5 Season 4, so we're just going to do a quick settings video. Just before we get into that, make sure if you guys want to support me, go in the item shop, type in code spades, that helps me out a ton. But yeah, let's get right into the actual settings. So starting with display, window mode, I do have a full screen. If you have it on windowed full screen or windowed, that's where you're going to be able to see, you know, your apps and stuff like that down here on the bottom. Most people don't really want that or need that. If you have it on full screen, you will have higher FPS and that is what everybody wants, right? Going down to frame rate limit, I have this on 180 just because I have a 165 hertz monitor. You want this one step above whatever your monitor is. The reason for that is whenever you're playing, always notice that your FPS is going to vary 10 to 15 FPS. So if it is on 180, it's going to bounce from 165 up to 180, meaning that I'm going to get smooth 165 since my monitor is 165. If I have it on 165, that means it's going to bounce from 150 to 165, meaning it's not going to be quite as smooth. So just make sure you have that one step above your monitor. I do play on performance mode. I just feel like it's a little bit better. I don't even have DirectX 12 downloaded on here. That's why you don't see it right here. Performance will get you higher FPS. That's why I use that. Brightness, all this stuff is still from last season. I haven't even played this season yet. So, you know, if you want this graphic setting updated, I will do a video on that again. Graphic quality, 3D resolution 100. View distance is medium just because you don't really need that very high. It is just going to lower your FPS for really nothing that is necessary. If you're sniping super, super far away, then, you know, maybe necessary. But last season, there wasn't even snipers that we could play with. So that's not really necessary. Texture is low. Mesh is low. Same thing. Raises your FPS. Going over to the sound settings. This all, this entire volume tab is just personal preference. So it just depends how exactly you like it. If you like your music higher, I just have that just for background, background music sound sound quality high of course 3d headphones off um you don't really need that on i just feel like it's a little bit annoying background audio you want that on all sounds just because if there's notifications music youtube videos going on in the background you will be able to hear that if you prefer that off you can definitely turn it off visual sound effects i definitely recommend having that on that's where you're going to be able to see footsteps and stuff like that you know chest all that stuff is going to light up on your screen whenever it's close to you voice chat again all this is just personal pr preference personal preference stuff Going over to actual game settings, NA East, that's my region. Make sure you have that on auto or your actual region. You don't want it on a random one or obviously your ping will be much, much higher. Going down to movement, toggle sprint is on. Auto open doors on mantle, uh, that's on hold jump. This is another thing people were kind of confused on. I was explaining it last video, but if you have this on hold forward, you will be able to literally walk forward and you'll automatically mantle reason you don't want that is just because if you're playing a game you're in an end game situation you're pumping a medkit something like that and you start walking forward into a wall you will automatically mantle if you have that on hold jump you're gonna have to hold down your space key for it to actually work so if you have it on forward it's just gonna ruin your entire game and ruin your medkit all that stuff you don't want that same with hurdle activation keep it on jump combat i have this on off Mark danger, you know, that's just personal preference stuff. Auto pick up we weapons. I have that off just because you don't want to walk through a pile of loot and automatically pick stuff up that you don't want or need. Uh, again, all personal preference right here. Going over to the game UI, reticle is going to be on, ammo indicator on. I prefer this to be in a list ver versus cumulative just because I feel like cumulative gets a little bit confusing sometimes. Reticle damage feedback hit only, damage number scale still 100. This, I prefer it on 75 just because when it's up here in the corner, it's a little bit smaller versus 100% is going to be like huge. Uh, this is all personal stuff. Getting over here into this stuff, this is, you know, nothing you guys really have to worry about. It's mainly for controller. So, you know, nothing that you even really need to go through. But I will, you know, you have it here if you want to pause and look at it. Going over to actual s sensitivity and settings for my mouse and keyboard. Uh, x-axis sensitivity 12.5 same as y i prefer to have these be the ones that you change versus changing all four of these if you keep these at 100 then change these it makes it a lot easier if you're changing all six of these it just gets a little bit confusing you don't really want that i don't use any custom movement or anything for mouse or keyboard so i don't worry about that keep it off uh, same with all this stuff rocket racing i don't even play rocket racing so i don't worry about that going over to actual keyboard stuff Movement, I have this, you know, regular, just hold forward, W, A, S, and D, all that jump, space, getting down to sprint, all this stuff. That's where it gets a little bit different from other people. My sprint is G, my auto run is tab, my crouch is V, 
Same crouch as when I'm building or editing. It's all still V. Combat, just basic stuff. This is just what it's going to come with whenever you start playing. Reload R, use, use is C. I think normally it's E, possibly. Pickaxe, I actually use as caps. Caps lock. Weapon slot 1 is scroll wheel up. So just like that, it's just scroll wheel up. Weapon slot 2 is Q. Weapon slot 3, 4, and 5 are just 3, 4, and 5. Building, I use, again, V for crouching. Wall is my top left mouse button. So the side of the mouse, I use, there's two buttons on my mouse. I use the far one, the one on the top left. Floor is E. Stairs is my bottom left mouse button on the left side. Roof is shift. Trap is X. Place building, just regular. Repair upgrade. That is, you know, normal. It's just going to come just like that. Building edit is F. And then scroll wheel reset, of course. This is just basic stuff. If you use push to talk, you can change that. T is just the closest button to my hand that I don't have used currently so that's why i use that one chat that is not very important either if you emote a whole lot you know set that to something you would actually prefer but right now and is totally fine for me miscellaneous stuff i don't even have a lot of this on as you can see it's just kind of random stuff um, this is for you know at the beginning of the game when i ask you to choose a different quest that you want to do that's what i have it set as there we go. So that is really all of the settings for this season. If you guys need to look at controller settings, anything like that, you just let me know and we can pull that stuff up and, you know, I'll let you check that out. Uh, but I am just going to go ahead and throw some clips in here just so you can kind of see my gameplay, see what it looks like, all that stuff. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys have fun this season. It is going to be a great one. For what?